Cone Bone Wa, good evening, dwellers. Already? Shh. Voltex Citizen. Sheesh with the NPCs. Here, can we go into this room and do the intro? You can't close the door. Are you serious? Stellar start. St <laughs> Stellar start. Oh, Combo Wa, good evening, dwellers. It is I, Logan Mad Titan, and welcome to part two of Lucky. Which ended up being not so lucky. Episode 13 of Fallout 4 Modded Outcast and Remnants. So, I, I, messing around for like an hour now, trying to resolve a uh, crash. Uh, for some reason, I decided to upload the 10 minute video that I made that led to the first crash. And then it told me to find Elaine Redding. Which, apparently, this is her. She was not in here previously. And I'm going to go back and show you how I got in here. Because every time I tried to go through that door... That was from the teleportation hub. To get back to here, it crashed. I updated the Fallout 4 patch. I reduced the every setting I could think to reduce, yada, 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 none of it worked. But I am nothing if not persistent. So through sheer persistence, I'm able to get in here to progress, to progress the quest. Yes, I'm going to progress the quest by talking to Elaine Redding. So let's see, not met you before. Actually, I think I maybe did. Were you the one that I let out of the prison? Is that who Elaine was? I think that might be who Lane was. So let's talk to her. Hi. Hey, welcome back. Nice to be meeting under more favorable circumstances. I'm glad to hear that things are better for you. I just wanted to say thank you again for all you've done. As a token of our appreciation, I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. It's upstairs in the main hall. And feel free to use the workbenches and supplies. Once again, thank you. And I hope you enjoy your accommodations. Got any work? Boy, everybody can give me work in this mod. Got any work? Not at the moment. We're still getting back on our feet. But I'll give you a holler when something comes up. For a minute, I, I forgot I've, I'm still wearing the, the pimp outfit. Totally, <laughs> totally forgot. Uh, have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? You know, it's funny. I imagine the first generation of residents in this bunker were terrified of being trapped down here. A couple generations later, they probably got used to the walls. Until enough time passed, and it got so they depended on them. By the time we made teleportation work, no one wanted to leave. We ended up lying to our own people about the existence of life up top. It all seems so silly in hindsight. We institutionalized ourselves, gave everyone here a life sentence. And that's exactly what the vault takes from you. Life. The part that counts, anyway. Yeah, I can't believe that I, uh, forgot that she was part of the prison break. So what happens now? So what happens now? Now we connect the Commonwealth and start rebuilding. Tell your science team they can use our lobby as the central hub for the teleportation network. Our proposal is to charge customers using the teleporters 20 caps per trip. Your team handles setup, security, and maintenance for the pods in the Commonwealth. Our group will run the central hub and maintain the server farm and other equipment that makes it all work. What are you going to do with the money? We split the proceeds 50-50. That's a win for us, for you guys, and of course for the customer. We'll send a friendly vault tech rep over to your HQ to iron out the details. <laughs> and of course it goes without saying that you personally have a free lifetime pass to use the network as much as you want. No, oh, thank you. I already have my own teleportation system called Fast Traveling, but thank you. Let's advance the quest. See you later, then. Take care of yourself out there. Congratulations! The vault Tech Teleport Hub is now active. You can periodically collect your cut of the income generated by the teleport network at the BOG bunker. It will be in a container on the wall in Mike McBride's office. Visit to active teleportation hub. All right, so like I was already there, and I'm afraid to try to go back the way the way that I came because that did not go Whatever well. Whatever you're gonna ask, 
I don't know anything about I'm not asking you anything. So I wonder what room is supposed what to be. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Oh, too many NPCs. I, I suspect it's the too many NPCs because that was a problem in Fusion City. Oh, I found my room quite quickly. All right, and look, more junk. Yay, junk. I love junk. Yes, I do. Would you like some junk too? What's this? Note from Elaine. Oh, she's going to try to put the moves on me? Bankrupt riches. That's how I close doors. I, I know I know how to play this game, I swear. I'll take the new cola. All right, note from Elaine. Ha, just kidding. You're welcome to use this room, too, if you want. As a bed, kitchen, safe storage, etc. But your real room is located in the teleportation hubs downstairs next to the room with arcade machines. Yes, I explored that in part one of <laughs> part 13. Uh... Part 13A, and then this is part 13B. It has all the minis, plus I figured you might like some company too. Bong, chicka, bom, bom, but not her. She left me some ladies on there. Watch part one, it's only 10 minutes long before it crashes. All right. Thank you again for everything. Enjoy, Elaine. Okay. And what is bankruptcy riches? It's a secret. Okay. Bankruptcy riches. Uh, what are we under? It's just a, a book. Okay. If it's a reference of some sort, I'm not getting the reference. Alright, so this I can use this room. Or the player room that I explored in the first part of episode 13. I did want to say a big... Uh, oh, another book. Art of the Comeback. Oh, oh, this is, this is, uh, yeah, more, oh, more of, uh, 45 stuff. All right, fall, fall on 45. I did want to say a huge, uh, thank you to Randy Smith. Randy is watching this series. I wonder if Randy encountered the crash that I was what? encountering. You lost? No. I'm a tour guide. I'm not... I hate NPCs, I swear. I uh, wonder if he experienced the same problem that I did. Now, it wants me to go back... Rough night last night. This way, and... Yeah, this is the door, but going the other way. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not tempting fate. I'm not going to tempt fate. So, I'm just going to try to go back the way that I... If I can remember how I got in here. To get out of here. And then I could show you how I got in here. But yeah. I know Randy was playing this as well. I'm just curious if he uh, had encountered the same yes. crash that I was encountering when I was trying to get into this place that I had already been to. But yeah, I'm thinking it's just there's just too many NPCs here. Alright, and I'm lost. How did I get... Yeah, here we go. Exit zone. Okay. So this is going to be weird. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Alright. So. How did I get in there? Because I was in the teleportation hub, and it was not working. Like I said, all those things that I tried, uh, and it kept just being a... Crash the desktop, crash the desktop. So I came in here, and I went to how we got in there the first time, which was through here. And as you see, it says open, close. Cause I, it said uh, it said inaccessible. So I unlocked it using console commands, and use, as you see, it's still not working. Still not working, right? I don't know what just happened there. Oh, wow. I made something trippy happen. I guess I, <laughs> I guess I clicked on it too many times, and it made whatever this is happening. Okay, well I'll finish telling you what I did that made it work, because yeah, clicking on it did not make it work. So what I did was I no clipped. I flew up, and you see that bad boy up there. If you no clip and fly up into that, it teleports you back into the vault. That's that's what happens. That's exactly what happens. 
But we're not going to do that. We are going to... Oh, wow. Well, maybe we are going to do that because somehow I made it go caca poo poo. And, uh... Alright. So let's... <laughs> this is so awesome. Let's no clip again. And then fly up. And then, yeah, hopefully this fixes whatever that was. Because that was doo-doo. Alright, I'm still swimming, apparently. Alright, so let's... Oh, boy. The fun of mods, man. The fun of mods. Alright, so we're going to teleport back in. You saw how he did it. I just did it. And as long as everything looks normal, I'm not... And no... No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I might have boned myself here. I might have messed things up even worse. And now I can't. Where am I? It says I'm above it now. Alright. So yeah, I broke that good apparently. And I can't fast travel from here. So What's going on? I'm just trying to get this mod to work, that's all. That's what's going on. So I guess I'm going to have to try to go through the Makes door. The day's work more satisfying. You know what's yours stays yours. Where's the door? Smell that? That's freedom. Oh, over there. Okay. How do I get over there? Here we go. It's nice to have a positive outlook on the future. Alright, if this crashes, I'm just going to smash my, my face into the wall 72 times. Fingers and toes crossed. For real this time. I'm going away from all the NPCs. And please, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, do something. Either crash or load, preferably load. There's nothing in the hub. I'm starting to get a charley horse in my foot from crossing my toes for so long. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, now they're all here. And people are teleporting. Life. Life's hard, but it's ours. And that's, okay. That seems worth it. And now we have shops. Hey. Hey, Scava. Let's trade. Okay. What's news? On second thought, forget it. Hey, thanks for stopping by. No problem. No problem at all. Easy, but yeah. All right. I think the Commonwealth's got a real. So. I think I ate too much. Oh my God! With the NPCs. All right, so what am I supposed to be doing now? I'm supposed to be teleporting to the bunker. All right, so yeah, I'd explored this in the first part of the episode and showed you everything. There is my own Ain't private quarters trouble, yeah. over here. Yeah. Need to get back to Diamond City one Oh God! Biggest and I'm supposed to get my goodies out of there. And you see, I turned the CBB E mod back off, and look what it does to the poor ladies, Sia yeah. and Shane over here. Yeah, makes them into horrible mutations, but that's okay. All right, let's get out of this. Let's just get out of here. Something's got to be done about those brotherhood bastards. I I murdered I murdered the, the brotherhood bastards to death. They're they're gone. You don't got to worry about them anymore. All right. So <laughs> with this teleportation, hopefully it's still not crazy pants out in uh, the Commonwealth. Because of whatever that weird glitchy bug that I caused. Alright. Nope. This looks completely normal. Hallelujah. So, if you are playing this mod and you uh, encounter that particular bug where when you're in the teleportation center and you try to go back into the vault residential area and it crashes, then you can travel to the original place that you went into uh, the vault and no clip and fly up into the air and teleport in that way to talk to Elaine and then don't 
try to show somebody <laughs> how you did it, like I did, and then get out of there, and you should be fine. I've never played a mod out of, and I've done like hundreds for New Vegas, because New Vegas is my jam. Hundreds of mods for New Vegas. I've never not been able to finish a mod. And some of them were really, really, really badly buggy. I'm just, I'm stubborn. This is ultimately what it comes down to. I will just keep playing with things and trying to come up with different ideas. It's not like I'm, you know, tooting my own horn and saying I'm smart or anything like that at all. It's really not that. It's just, uh, so I'm curious. Yep. So even she's going to look all janky mutated now because I turned that mod back off. Which is fine because I don't need her areolas getting the video restricted. I accidentally said in one of the previous videos, demonetized. Ha 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 ha. I have 47 subscribers. <laughs> My videos are not monetized. Um, but they can still get restricted. Which would mean there would be even less of a chance of people seeing it. And I don't know if I finished saying what I was saying. But Randy, if you are watching this episode... Thank you very much. I really appreciate appreciate the comment, and I appreciate anybody that spends any time with me watching any of the series that I make. Um, up next will be the po quite possibly the final episode of my Skyrim modded series. Well, that's a lot of bottle caps, so that's cool. All In right. In my experience, hot shots and big mouths end up Wait. with closed casket. What's funeral. happening? Why am I being teleported? Wait, what's, what's, what's happening now? Why, why, what was that? What is happening? Ho oh, I finished the main quest line. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Um, so we're at a dance party. I did enjoy the mod. And I didn't have a, a crash problem until right at the end. Which is pretty amazing. Okay, yeah. I'll leave an endorsement for sure. Ash is dancing over here with Elaine. Yeah, I did Fusion City Rising. Project Valkyrie is next, as a matter of fact, I think. Either that or Depravity. I'm not sure which. Huge thanks to those many monitors allowed us to include their excellent work. Please see the credit section of our mod page. Remember to leave endorsement? Yeah, I, I already said I'd do that. Alright, and this is... This is cool. It tells you who did the voices. Yep, that's what they were saying right there. Special thanks to all the voice actors. Voice actors for this were very good. Thuggy Smurf, Recluse, and Formato721. I didn't realize that that was that I was right at the end there. So Ash was Malastrom15. Lane Redding was anonymous. Okay. Sam Cruel was Sam Cruel. All right, so am I stuck in here, or is there a way for me to get out of here? I can just exit over there. Oh no, it teleported me in, and it's teleporting me out. It's hilarious how it can handle all this teleporting. Wrong, but I'm glad we're making a difference out here. But um, what you thought that was it? Well, here's some more. Talk to Sam Cruel about some work. First complete pimping ain't easy quest if not done yet. Okay, so the main quest is is done. But I, I did that with Fusion City Rising and, and I wasn't done playing. I still had some side quests and some other things and it seems like that's the same thing. Because I still have, well it just gave me that, but I still have this, I still have this, I still have this, I still have this, and I still have this. So there's still a lot more for me to do. That are not the uh, main storyline. So we've seen the main storyline. We encountered our first major uh, bug. And figured out a solution for that. And now... 
we have all these little side jammies to do. Which I have not fought anything. And I really don't like the Brotherhood of Steel in this game. I like Brotherhood of Steel in New Vegas. I like the Brotherhood of Steel in 3. I mean, you kind of... It would be kind of hard to dislike them. Maybe New Vegas, they're sort of unlikable just because they're hermits. But, uh, yeah, three, how could you really dislike them that much? But in four, it's, it's not it's not that hard to dislike them. So let's, um, let's troll the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's do that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. A girl doesn't like to be kept waiting. Stop flirting with me, robot. Yeah, I want to at least kill something in this wacky new new broken up more elegant uh, ep episode of nonsense and shenanigans. All right, so we are going east. Let's take a look at the map. I love that the map is here, not like in 76 where I have to go someplace weird and it makes me messed up. And we are going to the Custom House Tower. I don't not recognize that. Um, let's go to the Shamrock Tap House. That way maybe we could sneak up on the Custom House Tower, whatever that is. What a suspicious sounding name. I'll be honest with you, story-wise, I think I preferred Fusion City Rising's story to the main story, to this main story. You are so dead. No, no, ah! I'm not. I'm really not. No way is this worth it. <laughs> I'll shoot you in the butt. And what, we're in a rad storm? Oh, he's just standing over here. We haven't had a pop pop yet. Can we have a pop pop? Yes, we can. Oh, beautiful. Anybody else? Oh, he's all the way over there. A star paladin. I want to pop pop him, but we're going to get a little closer before we do that. Why? Why? I'll make it nice and quick. No, you, you, no, you won't. I really want, I want to go take out the Brotherhood, but you raiders are messing me up. Go away. Pop pop. Oh no. Oh, it tricked me. I wasn't a pop pop. All right. So hidden. Let's see if we can sneak up on these wonderful Brotherhood of Steel gentlemen. Wish it wasn't a rad storm because I can't see that well. All right. Where is he? He's up there. You just stand in there. Look at him. All smug in his weird looking Iron Man outfit. Stay with you, he's dead. Is there only two more? Oh, I wanted to get them. Somebody in power armor. Yep. It's only a matter of time before I find you. No, not really. Just stand still. How did I miss that? How disappointing. Both of us. Well, the AI is making me <laughs> nauseous here. Stand still. So I can murder you. Rad storm. Oh, that person died. <laughs> yeah, I thought I killed them. They're not dead. How did you not die? You're blind firing on my location? Alright. Jesus, dude. Yeah. I have strict shoot to kill orders. Ooh, that was a weird voice. <laughs> nice try. Uh, all right, can we pop hopper? No. Nope. All right, time to quit pretending. Don't give up. I'll shoot all. I want to shoot his helmet off. There we go. What the? Leave no survivors. Where's your leg? It's through the wall. Need all right. Long live the breath. No, no. 
That was a very dramatic death you just did, sir. Very dramatic. Why won't his head pop? He's got a magic head? Weird. Kind of bummed his head wouldn't pop. Alright, what are we getting here? Stealth Boy Prototype! That sounds pretty awesome. Alright, so then I'm supposed to use the... Oh, the storm's clearing up now, now that all the fun's done. That uh, BOG tape. And... I am... Reporting the completion of the BOS, which it shouldn't be BOG, but anyway. Uh, no, because I'm trolling the BOS for the BOG, so that's correct. I'm sorry. Congratulations on completing the mission. Our records have been updated. At your convenience, please return the tech you retrieve to the wall safe located next to the mission control notice board terminal on the top floor of the BOG bunker. Once you return the tech, your payment will be available in the receptacle below the mission control notice board terminal. In the meantime, use your mission control tape to select a new mission. You will need to exit your pit boy and reopen it in order for the map marker to show up. It is strongly recommended that you travel to a new area before selecting a new mission. All right. So I will follow that direction and we will switch to the bounty or no, should we do drugs or errands? Retrieve the supplies to make pimp jet. Pimp jet. Pimp jet. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of curious about pimp jet. Not going to lie. Pimp jet. Where am I going? Pimp jet is oh, crate. It said crater house. My brain did not put two and two together and remember crater house. All right, so we'll go to the museum of witchcraft just because that's one of my favorite locations and it's a place that I've been to in real life. Yes, I have. I've been to the museum of witchcraft in Salem. It's kind of, kind of, kind of hokey. Quite, quite honestly, it's not a. Uh, it's not uh i mean it's 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 cool and it kind of it kind of looks like this but it's like a like a haunted house i mean it's not a haunted house i don't know how to explain it but it's it's hokey like a haunted house i guess is what i mean i guess maybe there are some good haunted houses these days but like i'm talking about like an an, an old haunted house it's kind of hokey like that and honestly, I think we might end this episode because if I combine this video with the first part where the first crash occurred, it's about the time that I normally make the videos. Try to make them like 40 minutes to an hour, somewhere in between there. Look at the grasses. That's, uh, it's making me nauseous. Why is the grass vibrating and that's not natural? It's, not, it's, it's bothering me. Alright, let me hide because I think these guys are going to be hostile towards me if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll back up just a little bit. I'll stop looking at the grass. Oh my god, the grass is bugging me out. Here, we'll look off over at GNN. If you made it with me this far into the video, I greatly appreciate it. If you subscribe and you would like a shout out, please let me know. I would love to give you a shout out. Whoever you are, like I gave Randy Smith a shout out earlier, which I think I talked about him twice, so this will be the third time. Um, I love interaction. I do not get a lot of it. So if you want, you know, to hear somebody, you know, say hi and thank you and this and that in the video, please let me know and I'll be happy to do so. I'll say anything for, within reason. If you don't want any of that, obviously you don't have to. With all that being said, goodbye and good night dwellers.